Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. All right, if that's the case, tell the people who I work with at my day job, who a lot of them happen to be working paycheck to paycheck, how you feel about streaming and about how apparently it's harder than working a normal job, regardless if it's socially draining or physically draining or what. But yeah, just tell these guys what you think about it and how you think streaming is harder and just see what they say to you. Now, I'm not saying they would be mad if you said that, but I mean, for a lot of people out there working normal jobs, I mean, most of the jobs out there are retail jobs jobs, fast food jobs, and other low earning jobs. Man, I feel like everyone I know would kill to have the job, the job, quote unquote, that you have, making thousands of dollars per day. And there are people out there working normal jobs who do not even make $100 a day. And you have the audacity to say that streaming is harder than working a normal job. This ain't really work though. This is not really work. This is my career. It's not really a job. This is my career. You know, some people have jobs. Some people have careers. Some of y'all in the audience, some of y'all got jobs, some of you have careers. Now the people in the audience with careers need to learn to shut the fuck up <laughs> when you're around people with jobs. They don't want to hear your career bullshit. Keep that shit to yourself. Hey guys, newsflash. Streaming is harder than working a normal ass job. Yeah, I know some of you guys are probably hearing that and you guys are probably in disbelief, but 100% guys, streaming is way harder than working a normal job, putting up with people's bullshit and being underpaid while dealing with people's bullshit. Now, if you guys really want the context to me saying that streaming is harder than a normal job, despite the fact that it is 100% not, is because recently Hassan Piker and Asmund Gold have had some really bad takes that I wanted to cover on a YouTube video. Now, I usually don't talk about these types of streamers like political streamers and whatnot, but when I saw this take, it really rubbed me the wrong way. Now, a lot of people think that I just sit here behind my computer all day and I play video games, I watch YouTube videos, I relax, I make YouTube videos. People think that's all I really do and I don't really have a life outside of YouTube and like sitting behind my computer, but it turns out I actually work a normal job. I was doing a full-time job, but now I'm down to part-time because YouTube has been doing a little bit better, so I decided to take some time off off to do YouTube more, you know. But yeah, I still work a normal job and literally this take, like I said, rubbed me the wrong way because some of these streamers over on Twitch are so privileged that it makes them so out of touch. It's, it's fucking insane. And they stay inside in their room streaming all day to the point where they lose grip of what reality is actually like. And it's crazy too because they try to sympathize with us normal people who actually have lives and who actually go outside when they don't even have to worry about going outside at all ever for any reason, including working a normal job because they don't don't have to. And specifically to say that streaming is harder than working a normal job is just completely tone deaf. Especially when you make millions of dollars per year doing it. I don't care if you stream for one hour, two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, ten hours. I don't care. If you're making millions of dollars per year. And I mean, most people don't even make that in their entire lifetime. A lot of people work paycheck to paycheck. That's how fucking bad it is. And that's how bad jobs are essentially these days because they pay so low and they can get away with it too. And it's getting so bad to the point where people can even afford to live anymore. But then again, we have people like Hassan complaining about their streamer jobs and saying that it's harder than working a normal job. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Now, originally this first clip went viral on Twitter, but it turns out it was clipped out of context a little bit. And Hassan really didn't mean what he said generally. He apparently meant it more as in like your social battery. And apparently since he streams nine hours plus per day, it's more socially draining than your normal ass job. Just take a look. I'd rather like avoid those kind of circumstances. But yeah, um, now you know how it, how it is with real jobs feel. Yeah, it's funny you say that because I used to have a real fucking job and I was infinitely more social because this is the one area where I absolutely will disagree with you on. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Like, that's the difference. Like, no, 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 no. No, social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. Okay. 
I'm telling you, as someone who did did both, like nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people pleasing jobs would be very similar. Those are like, I think, customer service type shit. But like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited, way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours. That's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it yeah think about it this way like you give presentations for your job right imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight it's like after a while you'd be like i don't want to talk ever again <laughs> <laughs> now, all right, here's the first thing I have to say about Hassan and his whole streaming nine hours plus per day. And just even the fact that he's complaining about doing it. I mean, let's not just sit here and act like, you know, he can't change his hours and drop down and stream less hours. Like he didn't have to take the Twitch contract that he took. He could have easily been like, no, I don't want it. Or he could have gone to kick or something like that. Or once again, he just didn't have to take it. But for a lot of people who work normal jobs, they don't even get paid enough to be able to drop down hours or drop days off their schedule. People don't have that luck. Luxury. Yes, you heard it. Luxury. Because most people don't have a rich dad and a really successful news anchor uncle. And if you guys know anything about the origins of Hassan and where he came from and how he became successful, well, that's essentially because his uncle led him onto his news program, The Young Turks, and he was essentially just handed that. There are also other reasons why he is successful today, but that's one of the main reasons, and that's one of the things that got him started off. Nepotism, essentially. Now, anyways, I guess I can understand it being socially draining to be streaming for nine hours straight and talking on your your stream for that long which i mean i don't think you do you know there are periods where you're just not talking or periods where you get up and use the bathroom or you're eating something like you're not always talking and i mean you do react to videos and you play games on stream so it's not like you're constantly 24 7 talking or anything like that like it's a fucking presentation like that one person suggested but i can understand it being really socially and physically draining streaming for nine plus hours i mean i can't even stream for longer than four hours without feeling sick so but yeah i guess i see where you're coming from on that part. But to say fundamentally streaming is harder than working a normal job out in public or quite frankly just a normal job in general is kind of out of touch because you're making a shit ton more money than what a lot of people are making every day. Like a lot of people do not make thousands of dollars per day. A lot of people make like a hundred to maybe five hundred a day or less. Like if you were making thousands of dollars per day, at least one thousand dollars a day, you would be making three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars a year before taxes. And I know a lot of people who would just sit in front of a camera for nine hours hours plus a day to make the amount of money that you're making like literally anybody would fucking do that and to say that it's hard and more socially and physically draining than working a real job is just insane to me because a lot of people who work normal jobs have to deal with the same thing that you do but potentially worse because they're out in person and these are real people out in the real world like you're behind a computer screen dealing with thousands of people online like these people are not sitting in front of you you're not publicly speaking or anything like that and if anyone's giving you trouble you can either just block them or ban them from the chat like it's not hard but like with normal workers out in the workforce in person we have to deal with the same people every day and if there are ever problems between us or somebody's like harassing us or and say the boss doesn't like us and they're harassing us and we can't prove it to anybody well then you're just gonna have to fucking deal with it and that in and of itself is socially draining and me myself i've had to deal with shit like that and it fucking sucks so to say that you have a harder job that is more socially draining than normal jobs is just so out of touch because not everybody has the flexibility ability like you do to just like cut down your hours for streaming and it's not like people IRL have block buttons or ban buttons and most people are interacting with people in person like you don't even fucking leave your house so sit down honestly sit down shut up <laughs> but anyways moving on to Asmin Gold since we can't talk about Hassan forever Asmin Gold saw the whole situation on Twitter and people hating on Hassan for his really fucking out of touch take and for some reason he decided to defend Hassan I don't know why don't ask me but here it is millionaire streamer Hassan Piker claims that a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you in the same way that streaming will. It's, it's a two-minute clip, and so this is him explaining uh, what actually was said. No. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. Social battery-wise, I want to talk... Or the department manager just occasionally is just like... 
Hey, you suck, bitch! Bald ass bitch, you fell off, huh? We get to remember this in your performance review. You fat fuck. Stupid ass bitch. Now, when it comes down to shitty managers or shitty bosses, if you do work a normal job and you have a problem with your higher ups and they're genuinely shitty people who fuck with you all the time, it's not like you can just get rid of it instantly. Like as if you were to block somebody on the internet or ban them from your chat. So what is this take? You can easily just ban people like that. I mean, what's crazy about that too is that Twitch, YouTube, and pretty much every big social platform has this feature where you can block keywords on things that you don't want people to say. Like say, if someone calls you an asshole, you can literally block the word asshole by adding it as an added keyword on that list and then all those comments will get held for review or those live chat messages will get deleted and they won't even post so what kind of take are you trying to make right here like you can't compare the two together and somehow make it seem like streaming is harder because a lot more people will call you an asshole a fat bitch and other derogatory things like dude as far as i'm aware and maybe there's some new technology out there or something that i i'm just not aware of i don't think there's a block button or a ban button in real life i think you just have to fucking deal with shit in real life. So how is this a good argument against the haters? Like, I understand there's more people who are going to hate on you because you're a public figure and not everybody's going to like you, but at least you have something that can help you combat the haters. Like somebody hating on you and calling you something bad or making fun of your appearance, which has happened to me recently. If that stuff socially drains you, maybe you shouldn't be a public figure online. So people are getting mad. It's a bad take. What's it a bad take of? He says that he gets exhausted socially because he's talking to people for nine hours a day. You really think that's... You really think that's not true? Okay, now if that's all he said, then I wouldn't have a problem with that. I do 100% believe that it is socially draining to be a streamer, but essentially what he said and how it came off is that apparently streaming for nine hours every day is harder and more socially draining than working a normal job out in public, in person, whatever. But I just don't think that Asmund Gold understands that that's not all he was talking about. That's not all Hassan was explaining. I mean, you really think it's not true? That after you spend nine hours being investigated by thousands of people with every facial movement, everything you say, every word, with people constantly trying to disagree with you and fight with you, that's not emotionally or sorry, like socially draining. All right, once again, you're misunderstanding it. People aren't trying to say that it isn't socially draining, and that's not what they have a problem with. The problem is saying that streaming is harder than working a normal job, and it's more socially draining than a normal job. But besides that, in terms of being judged and having people disagree with you, dude, honestly, at this point, just give me a fucking break. You're literally in your house, the safety of your own house, and you're sitting in front of a fucking computer screen. Guys, you know what? I think all these streamers need to go outside and work a real job for like at least a week so they can understand how fucking shit it is really like these streamers that you see right here just sit on their asses in front of their computer screen playing video games reacting to videos giving their opinions on stuff while making 10 times more money than normal workers out there and now they're over here complaining about how like people look at them and their every move like honestly dude you just don't have my sympathy at this fucking point because people have to deal with real life shit when they work an in-person job and when they actually have a boss you you don't have a boss you have the freedom to do whatever you you want whenever you want so i don't see why there's any complaining anywhere and i don't see how streaming is harder than a normal job like there are some people out there who really fear for their safety at work because they have shitty fucking bosses or shitty co-workers and a lot of them can't do anything about it because the higher ups don't like them like do you have to worry about that when you're streaming let me answer it for you no you have to worry about if somebody swats you or doxes you and i mean to be honest when it comes down to that just don't be stupid online and you have nothing to worry about and having streaming is a job's exhausting so situation yeah yeah of course it is right Hassan is right people are just reactionary they absolutely are someone actually said real job what does that mean a real job is a job that you have bullshit jobs are the ones that other people have it's just that simple it's quite trendy and quite frankly easy to shit on Hassan that's the crux of it all well hey if it's so easy to shit on him then why are you making up fake reasons to do it if he's got so many bad takes and he says all this stuff that's wrong, then why not focus on that rather than taking something that's totally understandable and then turning it into something that it's not? 
How is it understandable to say that streaming is harder than working a normal job? Once again, out of touch. And this is coming from the guy who most likely does not go outside and cannot clean his fucking room. Because if you know anything about Asmund Gold, this guy makes millions of dollars a year and can't even clean up his room or have somebody clean it up for him. And there are actually videos on YouTube that show how dirty it is. And as of recently, a video resurfaced and was posted on Drama Alert of a cockroach flying and crawling all over him. Like, what the fuck is going on? I usually don't have a problem with Asmund Gold or hate him, but like, what is going on? He makes thousands of dollars a day. Him trying, him making takes, trying to relate to normal working people is fucking stupid. Well, there are normal working people that also make thousands of dollars a day. So like, I don't really understand like what your point is. Yeah, I mean, wh wh what do you mean? It's a stupid comparison. Yeah, like what? Like, you think streamer is the only job that you can make a lot of money in? I have tons of friends that make tons of money. And a lot of them aren't streamers. Okay, that's not how I would respond to that. Because realistically, I don't care if, like, really rich people make relatable takes. And I don't think they shouldn't be able to make these takes that happen to be relatable because they make a shit ton more money than normal people. Like, I want them to still be able to have an opinion about something. I don't want it just to be, like, taken away or say they can't have a take because, oh, they make thousands of dollars more than normal people. But when you're quite frankly agreeing with streaming is harder than working a normal job, I think it's justifiable to be angry at that if you're, like, a normal person a normal worker who doesn't make thousands of dollars per day. And also saying that there are a lot of people who make thousands of dollars per day out there as like a response to this person was pretty dumb, honestly. Because the main majority of people do not make thousands of dollars every day. And I don't think most of your chat is making a thousand dollars a day. Because if you were to make a thousand dollars a day or more, that would mean that you're pulling in $365,000 a year before taxes. And a lot of people do not make that kind of money. And I know a lot of people who would kill to be making that amount of money every year. Streamer doesn't make a lot of money when you actually normalize the salary. Engineers, doctors, people in trades make median more than a streamer. Streaming is extremely top-heavy. Well, of course it is. And uh, there are a lot of people that are grinding away and they stream eight hours a day and they get, let's say, 300 viewers, 500 viewers. They make $100,000 a year. Let's be very, very optimistic here. They make $100,000 a year and... Uh, like, I'll be real. If somebody was making that much money and, you know, like, it was like, is this really a good idea for you to do this? Probably not. $100,000 is still a lot. It is a lot, but whenever you think about the fact that streaming is just so transient, like, for example, you can get banned. Oh, well, now you're banned. Now what? Like, all of your job experience, everything that you did, like, it's completely different. Like, you're, you have, like, a three-year gap in employment. Uh, you have, like, this online presence that you know, creates a context in which people see you. I mean, if we're really thinking about it that way, like, Esmond Gold, if you got banned tomorrow, you could literally just live your life without ever having to work ever again. Like, that's literally how much money you make. And we're not necessarily talking about the smaller streamers, but I mean, regardless, like, if they lose their platform, I guess, because they did something stupid and they got themselves banned for it, there are fast food jobs that you can easily get, like, say, McDonald's, Wendy's. I used to work at Wendy's. And, like, these places, they hire anybody. You could have the worst criminal background ever and they would still hire you. Sure, it wouldn't be like the best wages, but still, it's a job that's making you money. And if you really needed money, you could just get one of those jobs. And I guess while you're working that job, you can try to gain your audience back on a different platform. Now, if we're talking about streamers like you, Asmin Gold, and Hassan, like their audiences will be on different platforms because they're that big. And sure, you probably wouldn't be making as much money as you usually do, but you still would be making significantly more than what a lot of people make. Gaming is literally the easiest part of being a content creator you just sit down make money just spawns in it's just so goddamn free who is this guy does he stream they have 400 viewers streaming is easy being good at streaming is hard 
dude, honestly, that is such a huge cope. Like, what the fuck was that? Asmund Gold is so angry here. It's actually crazy. Like, wouldn't being good at streaming mean that you get a lot of viewers and you can make a living off of it? You make a shit ton of money, right? Isn't that what that means? Because realistically, if you were a boring person and you had a boring stream, nobody would watch. Like, he's so angry that this person made this take. It's actually crazy. Now, anyways, moving on. That video was posted a few days ago, and it actually looks like as of today, Emmett Gold has essentially made a full response video, I guess, because a lot of people in his audience really did not like his first video, including me, of course. And a lot of people claim the video was out of touch, which, yes, it is. Now, this full response video is like an hour long or whatever, and I'm not going through the whole thing. I'm just going to go through the spots that I think should be included in my video. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just take a look. He's drained because he's working nine hours a day and he's mm -hmm. talking to people for nine hours yeah, yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can understand that. Yeah, I can okay. understand the fact that you're going to be drained. 100%. Talking of, he said that his job does not is more draining than any normal job. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I don't think that that's really what Hassan was trying to say because he was really talking about... And, and like also, like I don't... like Because I've, I've watched Hassan for years. I've known Hassan. I've talked to Hassan. I don't think that's really what he thinks. Now, maybe he maybe he should have said it in a way that was better, but I don't think that he thinks that. So like we can talk about the way that he communicated that and if it could have been communicated in a better way. Sure. But I'm talking about like what the intent was behind the communication. I don't think like if you asked Hassan, do you think that you work harder than a doctor that works in an emergency room uh, on residency. I think that Hassan would say no. I, I do. Or I, I really think that he would say no. So, like, we can have a conversation about, like, taking things, like, just super direct. But I think that if you look at the context of what he was talking about, he was referring back to, like, a job that he had. And he was talking about, like, his own personal experience with it rather than all jobs but these guys are right i mean they're right that yeah he did say that i just i think that it was very clear in my mind that wasn't what he intended excluding retail to okay. be fair and, 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 and life doesn't work like that nope if he just if he just had said my work what i do right now is extremely draining you would have yeah. just said that I would have been like, yeah, my man. But what did he say? But you said that your job is more draining than any normal real job. No. Fucking no, my guy. It doesn't work like that. The world doesn't work like that. Nothing works like that. But what you're going to... Yeah, and, and I think that they're right. I do. I don't think that Hassan meant it that way. And after after listening to the clip, I think that it's kind of obvious that he didn't mean it that way. Now, OK, how can you say that you think that this is what he meant when he quite frankly said the opposite? Like, are you Hassan? Are you a mind reader or what? Like literally what Hassan said came off as, you know, streaming being harder than a real job or any real job. And that's what he said. It's not, oh, I think this is what he meant or I think this is what he said. No, it's not like you just can't do that. That. And if you didn't agree with that one take, maybe you should have been like, I don't agree with that because frankly, it's not true or something like that. I don't know. But to just avoid that part and to talk about how apparently he was saying that streaming is draining and streaming for nine hours is draining and only go over that in and of itself. Like, of course, people are not going to be too happy because you're literally defending him. And it quite frankly looks like you're defending everything that he said. Now, maybe you weren't and maybe that wasn't your intention. But I mean, I guess now, you know, don't just assume what people said and go over what they actually said not what you think that they were saying because what if he actually meant what he said how apparently streaming is harder than a normal job what if he actually meant that too i mean from the looks of the one clip it looks like he actually meant that but he really didn't mean it in like a physical way he meant it as like in a socially draining sort of way as if like that's the hardest job in terms of your social battery like see this is what happens when you have terrible takes and i'm hoping that these two learn from what they have said but i don't think hassan will because he's just a scumbag honestly 
honestly. And once again, I don't hate Asmund Gold or anything like this, but like when you have shitty tastes like this, dude, like expect people to not like them and to give you dislikes and for people to come out and criticize you because man, this was really bad. Now, if you guys really want to see his full, full response and not just like a little clip of it, once again, it's an hour long. It's on his channel. So go check that out if you really care about this. But anyways, besides that, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so the video gets promoted more in the algorithm so more people will see it. Thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel. Your support really means the world to me and I really do appreciate it. Now with all that being said, my name is Brion and I will see you in my next video. Peace.